Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McRae. You have heard us use the term cardio-oncology before. It's a relatively new specialty that deals with the complications of cancer treatment on the heart. Now, fortunately, more and more people are being successfully treated and they're surviving cancer. But of course, there can be some side effects from the chemotherapy, from the radiation, from other treatments. And what do you do about it? Well, if cancer... Uh, If cancer treatment has sent you for a loop, then you might need some rehab. Joining us in studio is cardio-oncology rehabilitation specialist and exercise physiologist, Mr. Adam Schultz. Welcome to the program. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. We didn't even know there were people like you around. We (laughs) knew that people who had had cancer might have uh, had some kind of rehab or certainly if they'd had heart disease. But you specifically treat patients uh, or help patients who have had cancer prior cancer treatment, correct? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, In cardio-oncology rehab, we work with patients who have either developed cardiovascular damage as a result of treatment they've received, or those who are at an elevated risk of such damage because of their treatments. What cancer treatments can damage your cardiovascular system? Well, chemotherapy, of course, radiation, targeted therapies. There are a whole host of medication regimens that patients may undergo that will have adverse effects on their heart function. So the people who are candidates to come see you for your help are people who have had a damage to their heart from whatever kind of cancer treatment they've received. And multiple different types of, of treatment can affect the heart. Well, you're exactly right. We work with those patients, but also in our program, we also work with all cancer survivors, regardless of whether or not they've had damage to their heart because what we know is that cancer and cardiovascular disease share common risk factors. And in fact, 20 to 30 percent of cancer survivors have underlying cardiovascular disease. Is that right? 30 percent more likely to develop coronary artery disease and twice as likely to develop heart failure. So we make a point of it to encourage all cancer survivors to participate in exercise rehab. Man, when you have got cancer, you do not feel like exercising. So are you helping patients that are going through their treatment, or are you helping them after their treatment is completed? Both. Okay. We work with patients who are currently undergoing their treatments, and afterwards, the guidelines would say that everyone with cancer should participate in exercise to the best of their abilities. I hope the patients who are going through their treatment, when they show up at the gym to work with you, I hope they get a sticker just for showing up. Yeah, and I always congratulate patients for coming to see us because only about 10% of patients going through treatment actually exercise regularly. And after treatment, only 20 to 30% are active. So I certainly congratulate them on coming to see us because I I say that they're a step ahead of the game. How much is um, stress reduction helpful for patients as they're going through their treatment. It's a pretty stressful time. And what I know is that, you know, when you're getting a good cardiovascular workout, that helps with stress. Where do those two things meet for cancer patients? Some of the known benefits for exercise in cancer survivors do include uh, improved depression symptoms, decreased anxiety. And as you mentioned, it can be incredibly stressful going through therapy, receiving the diagnosis. And so there are a lot of things that perhaps cancer cancer patients don't feel as though they have control of when exercise is one thing that they can kind of take the reins of and feel as though they have some say in what their treatment course entails. When they come to see you, do you outline a program for them and then they're kind of on their own or do you see them on a regular basis? We have a couple of different options. We have one program where, for example, if patients are from far away and they're only here for a short time, we have a one-time comprehensive exercise session that includes education and will develop a custom evidence-based exercise prescription for them that they can then take home with them. We also have a program for patients who are local or who have the opportunity to attend more frequently. They can stay with us for a month or even many months depending on what their doctor or other provider wants for them. You said uh, an exercise prescription. Yeah. What is an exercise prescription like for someone who is a cancer patient? It's very similar, in fact, to what you'd give someone who doesn't have cancer. It just depends on what type of limitations they're bringing to the table. So we'll address cardiorespiratory fitness, the ability to do things like walking, biking, swimming, things along those lines for an extended period of time. 
will include muscular strength and endurance. Often that looks like weight training using hand weights, resistance bands, body weight, a whole number of different things, but also flexibility and balance are important components of it as well. So you are an exercise physiologist, and, and, and what does that mean? What, what's your training been? Well, we specialize in working with all individuals who are wanting to participate in exercise, but we're especially trained in working with people with chronic diseases who maybe need some additional guidance or clinical monitoring to make sure that they're doing it safely. So we have an understanding of what the disease process does to exercise adaptations and where it can be beneficial. Is that different than a physical therapist? That's a good question, and we get it all the time. And physical therapists work primarily with rehabilitating maybe specific joints or muscle groups, whereas we take, I guess, more of a comprehensive approach. We're targeting everything at once. Where do your patients come from? Are they all referred, or can a cancer patient come to you directly? Well, sometimes patients hear about us through word of mouth, but we do require a provider referral to exercise with us. Mm-hmm. That's what I was just going to ask about. So lots of times you'll hear the standard disclaimer of, you know, consult your doctor before beginning this exercise program. And that has to be part of what you're doing. Exactly. And so patients will come to us directly from a provider. We do a thorough review of their medical history, making sure we understand what treatments they've undergone or about to undergo so that we can design a program with that in mind. Is, is there any particular type of cancer patient that you see more often than others? For example, more often lung cancer patients or breast or prostate, or does it have just basically follow the, the uh, cancers that are most common? Well, it, it tends to follow trends, and it's usually because some departments are well aware of us, whereas others maybe aren't quite yet. So we do see a lot of lymphoma patients. We see a lot of breast cancer patients and a lot of other different diagnoses, but primarily those two. So would you say most of your referrals come from cancer specialists, oncologists? Yes, or cardio-oncologists specifically who specialize in working with patients who have developed cardiovascular damage or who are at elevated risk of doing so. And we do have a cardio-oncology department now, which we've heard about. Is there, um, has has there been any research done to show if being cardio, you know, being fit, uh, being active while you're going through treatment helps you with your uh, cancer treatment? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, What we know is that when we look specifically at cardiorespiratory fitness, it has what we call an inverse relationship. So the fitter one is, the less likely people are to die of any cause, cancer and cardiac disease included. Is there evidence that following a program like you prescribe improves survival? Uh, Survival is one of the markers, exactly. Yeah, so it does. It's a good thing. Wow. All right, cardio-oncology rehab, no question. There are benefits to regular exercise for patients who are getting or who have had cancer. And there are rehab specialists like Mr. Schultz who can help. Thanks so much for being with us. Again, I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you.